This is problem four of standard 8GC9, where we must know the formulas for the volumes of cone cylinders and spheres and use them to solve real world and mathematical problems. Now, let's see what they're asking us. The solid figure shown below is composed of a cylinder and two cones. Which of the following would be the approximate volume for this figure? Use 3.14 for pi. So we are looking for the approximate volume. We're going to use 3.14 for pi. Let's look to see what we have. Okay, we've got here in the center, we have a cylinder, then we have two cones. Notice the cones have the same height, which is 4, and the same diameter, which is 3.6. So these cones are exactly the same shape, same size. The volume of this whole thing then is going to be equal to the volume of that middle cylinder plus two times the volume of one of the cones, right? Let's find the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the cone. The volume of a cylinder. Our formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Okay, we need to find the r squared and the h, the r. Well, right here it says that this diameter is 3.6. So it's the same for the cone and the cylinder. But it's not the diameter I need, it is the radius. I need half of that. 3.6 divided by 2 would give me my radius. That would give me 1.8 centimeters for the radius. So let's put this in. Volume then is equal to, and they said 3.14 for pi. The radius is 1.8 and we use, need to square it. Our height, what's the height of our cylinder? The distance between the two bases is four centimeters, so we plug in our four. Now, we need to put that through our calculator. 3.14 times 1.8 squared times four, and we get 40.7. Okay, that's 40.7. Centimeters cube, right? The volume of this is 40.7. Okay, let's find the volume of one of these cones. The volume of a cone, the formula for the volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. Now, that would be one third, and they told us to use 3.14 for pi. Our radius on the cone is the same as the radius on the cylinder, and that was 1.8. The height on our cone is the same as all these others, uh, is the cylinder and the other cone is 4, so let's plug 4 in for height. Now, let's go through our, our math here. 1 third times 3.14 times 1.8 squared putting this in your calculator, times 4, and that would give me 13.6 cubic centimeters. Okay, that makes sense. It's about a third of this. Okay. Now, the volume of our cylinder is 40.7 cubic centimeters. Then we need two times the volume of the cone, because each one of these cones is 13.6, right? You could add them together if you wanted to, or you could multiply your 13.6 by 2. You get the same thing. If we do this, let's put it in our calculator, 40.7 plus 2 times 13.6, and we get 67.9, 67.9, which is, when we're doing an approximation, This says the approximation 67.8. There we go. There's our answer. We found the volume of the cylinder. The two cones were identical, so we found the volume of one cone and multiplied it by two, added that together. Let's see, 53, 54.3 plus 13.6, 6. and you would get 67.9, you get it both, and both answers the same way. 